of the questions that I get asked quite often uh, from prospective buyers for our software is how easy is the system to use and why do we have an implementation budget that is going to last for multiple days well there's quite a lot to the software so we try to cover things as quickly as possible but once you've got the software installed and on your uh, network it's quite easy to to get around within the system if I for instance wanted to know more about how to purchase materials if I come into the products and materials area I've got a link from here into purchase orders both manual purchase orders and auto purchase orders and if I'm in auto purchasing and at this screen here and want a bit of help on what I'm doing with the auto purchase orders over here there's a video and clicking on that Welcome to this sales demonstration on the Interact Purchasing System for Jobs. There are multiple ways to be able to create. It will start a video that shows how to run auto purchase orders within the software and what the options are. Also when I'm on the screen down the bottom here we've got a help text. That help text is related to how to use this screen. If I click on a field within the screen the help text down the bottom here changes to tell me what type of information the database is expecting in that particular field. All that's all the way throughout the software, whether we're talking about setting up a product item, adding in a sale or a quotation. You're going to have that on-screen help text and there's a whole bunch of different videos in there to help you out as well. Many of the screens also have manuals to them, and not just the videos, but if you're wanting to find the video because you don't know where to start looking for what you're looking for, you can come into the videos menu here and you can see that there's at this stage 83 different videos on how to get help on the software looking at import shipment costing, debtors, financial reports, payroll training but we've also got manuals on many topics in here as well and other documents that you can link through to that will show you information about how to use the software so the system is easy to use and user friendly but in some cases it might not be a perfect fit for you so if I come into the client file here and I'm looking here at a customer I've got the option to be able to put in contact history underneath the customer when I'm adding in contact history there's a lot of questions that the system is asking me to put in now each of those particular fields has a reason that they're there they're not just there because uh, we had lots of room on the other screen but if that doesn't fit you and your needs and you said look which employee is doing the work whether we had a follow-up call whether we're wanting to have as the objective to organize a close of the sale we made an appointment and that was a positive action with Owen and we want to give him a new quote and follow him up and that the next time we follow him up we're going to be performing this action now if you said Simon we're not going to track movements as to whether we had a positive or a negative effect from that contact history can we get rid of that I come into the database design find the movement field turn it off display and now that field is gone so that sort of changes what we often will do with people to get the software to be a better fit so that it is more intuitive to your business and that it is doing what you would like it to do not just what it does out of the box but obviously a lot of those features and fields are left on there so that you know that they're there and you can pick which ones are appropriate to you and your business part of the implementation time is us trying to fine-tune those processes that are most commonly used by your business so that they are as streamlined to your own business flow processes as possible if you'd like more information or a demo on how the software performs anything just let us know and we'd be happy to help out thanks very much bye